Here we have a Fender Coronado II. I believe this guitar is from 1966, based on the checkerboard binding and the pickup cover stamped with the Fender logo. That could be wrong if you have a correction, by all means, but either way, they are a, a cool, weird, quirky part of Fender's history, designed for Fender by the same person who designed a number of instruments for Rickenbacker, which makes a lot of sense when you look at it. Uh, these guitars are a departure from what we typically think of as classic Fender uh, in every way. They are a double cutaway hollow body with a tunematic style bridge a floating tailpiece, and pickups made by DeArmond. Uh, I've seen a number of artists I love using these live, from Andy Hull of Manchester Orchestra to uh, Natalie Prass, one of my all-time favorites. And when a friend of mine put this up for sale for a reasonable price, I knew I had to grab it. Uh, sound samples of vintage instruments can be a little hard to come by, so I'm far from an amazing guitar player, but I just wanted to show you some of the types of sounds you can get from these. Um, I'm running it straight into an era-appropriate 1965 Princeton Reverb, which has some uh, buzzes and rattles I'm sure you'll hear. Uh, but hey, I'm sure I will too if I'm around as long as this thing has been. So here we go.
that is the Fender Coronado mm. 2. Uh, it's really a dream to play. It's got a very comfortable, slim neck, uh, if that's your kind of thing. The bridge pickup is really sweet and nice and clear and has some of what you would expect from a single coil Fender, despite having de pickups. The neck pickup is really swampy and muddy in a fun way, in my opinion. It's a lot of fun to play and it has a pretty high output, so I'm sure you could hear this little amp just trying to keep up. Uh, but yeah, so if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. You've heard it a million times, but liking and subscribing really goes a long way, so please consider doing that. Uh, leave a comment, say hi, let me know what you thought. If you have recommendations for gear you'd like to see demoed or recording, mixing, uh, techniques and topics you'd like to see explored, uh, leave your recommendations below and I'll see you next time.